Welcome to part 7 on integration by U substitution. Here's the list of formulas we are using. And here are the 15 examples that we will complete. The example we do in each part corresponds to the part number. So in this part 7, we'll do example 7. Can you pick out the right formula? We probably all notice by now, if we're going to use a trig formula, it's going to be quite obvious. So this is not one of the trig formulas. What's left? It has to be the power rule. Do we see something raised to a power? Yes, we do. So let's give that a try. Okay, now, what do we have raised to a power? We could see it in the denominator. 2 plus secant x. So let us let u equal to 2 plus secant x. What's du? It's the derivative of u times dx, we get 0 plus secant x tangent x dx. Looking good, right? Let's plug u and du into our integrand. On the top, we have du exactly. On the bottom, we have u raised to the 3 quarter power. To use the power rule, it has to be in the form u to the n du. That means the power here is negative 3 over 4. Apply the power rule, add 1 to the power, and divide, plus c. Turn the 1 over 4 upside down, we get 4 times u to the 1 fourth plus c. Substitute the x's back in, and we're done. Remember, we can always check by differentiating. So let's differentiate our answer. Copy the constant factor 4, and now apply the power rule for differentiating. Pull down the power. Subtract 1 from the power. Then differentiate the inside. The 4's cancel, we get 2 plus secant x to the negative 3 quarter power times the derivative of 2 is 0 plus the derivative of secant x. There's our secant x tangent x. That is the integrand. All right, let's try the shortcut. Do the problem without writing any u's in. We know we're going to use the power rule, so get it into the correct format. We write the integral of 2 plus secant x raised to the negative 3 quarter power. Then we draw an oval. Inside this oval, we have to have du exactly. If u is 2 plus secant x, du is secant x tangent x dx. And I rigged it up so it's perfect. We don't have to do anything. Immediately we can apply the power rule. Add 1 to the power. And dividing by 1 fourth is the same as multiplying by 4. And we're done. See how short this is? Excellent. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.